Hey guys, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to today's breakfast. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, I wanna welcome you. My name is Casey Starlong, and I do something every day. I call it today's breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And breakfast is just hearing a word from the Lord to help us be, you know, just powerful and to just help us be in the will of God each and every day. So as you can see, guys, I'm in my car. So excuse me. I just got done from working out. And I thank you guys for just allowing me to just be me. Like it's important for me to get my workouts in and it's important for me to share the word of the Lord. And sometimes the two run right against each other. So I'm a little bit sweaty, had a great workout, had tons of fun at the gym. Um, if you're ever interested and if you live local and you want more information about the gym that I go to, I would love to talk to you about it. It's called Orange Theory Fitness. And one day I'm going to do a live just about Orange Theory and how it has just really helped me with my workouts. But today, y'all, I really want to share the word that God placed in my spirit today. And our scripture, it comes from John 1 and 5. And it actually is the verse of the day through the Bible app. And God began to just really speak to me about this verse. And I just want to encourage you because yesterday I came across some news that was really sad for me. A young lady that I know, um, her and her husband, they have been very supportive of me and my ministry, um, especially when I had a radio show and just they have just really supported me throughout the years. Um, her mother um, was apparently killed in a crossfire um, here in St. Louis, um, just another death um, due to violence. And um, I was just very sad to um, hear that because I know that she was really close with her mother. Um, actually, I would sometimes see her mother attend their daughter's school because my granddaughter also attends that school. So sometimes during like when the school would have community events, I would see this young lady's mother. Um, and so uh, she was very sad. And obviously the community that knows her is also very sad and mourning. And I came across a couple of posts that talked about that 2020 has just been really cruel. So maybe you don't know the young lady that I am talking about, but, you know, maybe you yourself have surmised or said, you know, that 2020 has been really rough with the COVID-19 deaths, um, just violence, um, just the up upheaval um, with what we have seen in the news. I think we all can say that this has been a very tough year, that we didn't really see this coming. Uh, maybe some some of y'all saw that this was coming but i think the majority of us we didn't really see um all of the things unfolding as they have but i want to give you some hope and encouragement and it comes through god's word in john 1 and 5 it talks about that darkness cannot drive out light that the darkness of 2020 cannot overcome the light of jesus christ all right, I wanna encourage you with that, that despite the news that we may see um, in the media, even um, when we receive bad news, when we know people are, are suffering, I wanna let you know that this suffering is temporary. It is not permanent, okay? In John 1 and 5, it talks about that basically darkness, evil cannot overcome the light. And who is the light? We're talking about the light of Jesus Christ. And that light, if you are a believer, is also in you. So I wanna encourage you that the enemy would have you think that, you know, 2020, 20 is a bust that you know COVID-19 has the last say that violence shootings police brutality that that has the last say but I want to let you know that if you are a believer that is not true okay none of these things has the last say Jesus Christ has the last say and when we read the Bible when we look at the Bible we know in the end we win so what do we do we stand strong and we shine our light OK, we as believers, we have the light of Jesus. We have the spirit of Jesus on the inside of you. OK, on the inside of us as believers. So I want to encourage you to shine your light. OK, that no darkness can overcome the light that is on the inside of you. You carry the light. You carry the power of Jesus Christ as a believer. So how does this what does this look like practically? Smile. Encourage somebody today. Ask God to help you intentionally be light 
for someone. Maybe it's sowing a seed in someone's life. Maybe it's spending time. Maybe it's picking up the phone and just saying, you know what, how can I pray for you? God put you on my heart and I just wanna let you know that God loves you. You know, whatever it is, you be the light. And I wanna guarantee you that darkness cannot overcome the light. We are the light, okay? We are the hands and feet of Jesus. We are the light. Some of you guys know that um, God has given me this assignment to create a book of prayers for St. Louis by St. Louis. For those of you all that are watching via YouTube, and maybe this is the first time you ever came across one of my videos, I live in the city of St. Louis, the gateway to the West. Um, God has really called me um, amongst many people to stand in the gap for this city. This city has been plagued by a lot of crime, violence, a lot of great stuff takes place here in the city of St. Louis, but there is definitely a principality of murder, um, very similar to the city of Chicago. And so God has put on my heart to um, publish a book of prayers for St. Louis by St. Louisans. And so I am asking that if you live in the city of St. Louis, if you have a heart for the people in the city of St. Louis, if God has placed just desires and dreams that you would like to see fulfilled for our city, I'm encouraging you to go to the website, whenstlouispraise.com and submit a prayer, okay? When you submit a prayer, it will be considered to be published in a book this fall, it will be a book of prayers. There will be various different kinds of prayers. That's one way that we can allow our light to shine. Just like the scripture says, darkness will not overcome light. We are people, we're praying, we're decreeing, we're declaring the word of the Lord, and we are committed to allowing our lights to shine. I'm reminded of the scripture in Romans chapter 10, you know, where it talks about that how can the people, how can people hear, how can they know, you know, about Jesus? They don't know unless we are, we are sent and they won't know unless we open up our mouths and tell people about Jesus. Okay. And that's one way we can do that is by allowing our lights to shine. So I want to encourage you that don't allow 2020 to shut your mouth. Don't allow 2020 to harden your heart. Don't allow 2020 to have you fold your arms across your chest and say, you know what, this is a bust. No, it's not a bust. I want you to, you know, make a commitment that says, you know what, in spite of, I'm going to shine. In spite of, I know that God is not done with us yet. That this is a this is a test. It's hard. It's not it's not necessarily fun in some sense, but I know that I'm committed that I'm going to allow my light to shine. I'm going to tell people about the Lord. I'm going to point the way to Jesus Christ in everything that I do. I am going to shine. I'm committed to shining bright for Jesus because it is not over. Hope is not lost. So, that's the breakfast for today. This is the word of God for you today. I want you to eat it like Wheaties where you just make up your mind that you are going to shine for the Lord, that you're going to allow the light of Jesus that's on the inside of you to shine. Some of you may be watching this and you're like, look, I don't know about this light. I don't know about Jesus. I've never asked Jesus to come into my heart. Well, I want to give you the opportunity to allow the light of Jesus to come into you. It's not some exclusive thing, but just like a, a group of people, the light of Jesus can come in you as well. And all you have to do is believe that God sent Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. If you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, so you can have eternal life with him. You just accept him into your heart. And you do that by saying, Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Live in me. Help me. Fill me with the power of the Holy Spirit. When you ask Jesus to come into your heart, he comes into your heart. He becomes your Lord and Savior. And your next steps after that is to get connected to a good Bible-based church so you can grow stronger in the Lord. Okay? It's not some kind of click. All right. It's not just I'm special and Jesus just lives in me. No, Jesus died to live in us all. All right. And we just invite him in. We say, Jesus, I want you to live in me. I want your light to shine through me. I want to help people. I want to be of encouragement. I want to help this city. I want to help this nation. All right. It's easy. All you have to do is ask Jesus to come into your heart and he will. 
So I pray you guys that this blesses you. I, I pray that um, if, for those of you that live in the St. Louis area, that you will submit a prayer by going to win St. Louis Praise. That's S-T-L-O-U-I-S. Win St. Louis Praise dot com and submit a prayer. All right. There are different categories that you can uh, pray about children, churches, salvation, business, the business community, whatever it is. And then there's a category for just a general prayer. I pray that you will you will do that. And this is one way that we can allow our lights to shine. Can you imagine a prayer book, a book of prayers for St. Louis by St. Louisans? And maybe you're watching this and you live in another state, you live in another country. Maybe God will put this on your heart for you to lead a movement where there will be a book of prayers for your city, for your nation, by the people that live in the community. All right. So you guys, if this has been a blessing to you, will you do me a favor and will you just share it? There may be somebody who just needs some encouragement on today. They need some breakfast. They need some food. They need some sustenance from the Lord. Will you share this? So a share on your timeline for me. Do that for me, please. There are just some ways that people, they'll never see it unless you share it. All right, you guys, I pray that you have a blessed day and I will be back tomorrow for more breakfast. Bye.